Welcome to the Transparent FX Academy. I'm Nick and I'm a top author on TradingView with over 190K reputation points. In this video, I will be speaking about the differences between MT4 and MT5 and which one is the best platform for yourself because I've seen a lot of different tutorials about the comparison between these two platforms. However, all of them in the end will give you their overall choice. But the reality is that it depends from what exactly you are, what kind of trader you are and a lot of different things because it's not like one solution will fit all. It pretty much depends from person to person. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so first of all, both platforms have been developed by MetaQuotes, which is a company which has, has also developed other uh, products, but it's most famous for the development of MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5. Now, obviously, MT5, so MetaTrader 5, it came after MT4, and it was supposed to be the new version of MT4, essentially the more advanced version. And that is, in fact, exactly what it, what it is. However, it's important to keep in mind that, especially at the beginning, because of the huge success of MT4, MT5 had a bit of problems in gaining traction. In fact, MT4 to this day, for many brokers, is still the platform that is generating the most volume. So this means that still there is a huge amount of volume that is trader, traded on MT4. So you might be asking yourself, okay, so why are people, even though there is a more advanced platform already are still preferring MT4 compared to MT5. And it's exactly from this question that we will start to compare the two platforms to see exactly which one is the best one for you specifically. Because as I said, it's not one solution fits all. It always depends from trader to trader, depending on your specific requirements. So let's start the comparison. Now, first of all, when it comes to MT4, uh, MQL4, which is the programming language uh, that you have to use to develop uh, expert advisors, indicators, and uh, whatever you want to develop on MT4, is much easier than MQL5. So essentially, the learning curve, if you have even never programmed, is much, much easier because it's quite high-level language and uh, it's very straight to the point. So. It, when, once you start learning MQL4, you will see that it's quite easy to get to the point where you have already developed some expert advisors that can trade automatically for you. The other important thing is that the reason for which many people are still using MT4 is because it's already enough if you are a day trader or swing trader. Let me go a bit more in detail on this. Now, especially with external platforms like, for example, TickStory, where you can import inside of your MT4 high quality data. When it comes to a MT4, even though it doesn't natively support tick data, which is necessary for um, for like scalping or really short time frames trading, because if you don't have tick data, then at that point your backtesting results are not really accurate and don't really reflect real trading conditions. But when it comes to day trading or swing trading, so let's say from the one hour time frames above, MT4 is already perfectly fine because the time frames are already quite precise, especially if they were built with high quality data. And most brokers also do have already a natively high quality data that you can download from the history center of your MT4. So when it comes to day trading and swing trading, trading strategies, already MT4 is more than enough. So that is why people are still reluctant to go into the learning process of learning MQL5 if they are already fluent on MQL4 and are using MT4 perfectly because they don't really feel the necessity to move to a more advanced platform because already MT4 is perfectly fine for them. The other point is that MT4 has been around longer. So what does it mean that it has been along, around longer? Now, being along, around longer means that there are more EAs, more indicators, more tools, more products 
that are available for the MT4 platform with respect to the MT5 platform, because it has been around simply for a shorter period of time. And another thing is what kind of markets you're looking to trade as a trader, because MT4 is perfectly fine if you're looking to trade commodities, FX, indexes, crypto also for some brokers will already give you access to all these markets on the MT4. So if you already have access to the markets, you already know how to code an MQL4, you already you are a day trader or a swing trader, you don't really feel the necessity to move to MT5. That is why a lot of brokers still have a huge volume for MT4, even higher than MT5, even though technically MT5 is supposed to be the more advanced platform, right? The other important thing to keep in mind is a uh, disadvantage for MT4, in my opinion, is that the updates from MetaQuotes have actually stopped. So this could also pose some uh, security issues in the future, like in many years, because there are no new updates that are coming from uh, MetaQuotes, to my knowledge, anymore, because they are now putting their full effort into MT5. So I believe that at some point, uh, MT4 will become outdated, but at least at the moment, that is absolutely not the case from now. And I also believe that for many years to come, the MT4 will continue to be available and will continue to be a good option because anyway, there is such a high volume that MetaQuotes will need to tell the brokers that are still offering MT4, which is almost all of them, that, hey, from this moment, we will discontinue the service, but it needs to be at least years in advance because otherwise it would cause too much destruction. Now, let's move to MT5. Now, which are the improvements and the key details of MT5? Now, first of all, MQL5 is a, is a more complex programming language, and so the learning curve inevitably will be steeper. Now, it's more complex because there are more things that you can do for it with it. So uh, when it comes to people that are not really day traders or swing traders, but are more like scalpers, short-term time frame traders, they do need MT5, absolutely, because it, when it comes to short time frames, you do need a platform which has it, which natively supports um, tick data, essentially. So a uh, tick to tick data, and most importantly, ver uh, variable spread uh, backtesting, because that is what will simulate uh, as much as possible real trading conditions. So then you can run your algorithms on a uh, data that simulates to the best possible way real past trading conditions. So uh, there are also things like, for example, you can simulate a bit of slippage as well. So also the back tester uh, MT5 is much more advanced compared to MT4. So this is especially important when it comes to short time frames trading, like scalping or anyway, short time frame trading. Other important things that MT5 has compared to MT4 are a, a lot of integrated a, economic calendar. So for example, a developing EAs based on news trading, you have multi-currency already a, integrated, multi-currency trading and also back testing already integrated. You have more time frames, more objects. It, you have a lot of more things compared to MT4 because obviously it is a more complex and more advanced platform. Now, as I said previously, this doesn't mean that you absolutely need a more complex platform. For some kind of training, you just simply don't need those kind of things, but it's good to have them. But that comes with the cost of more complexity. So you always have to know what you are giving and what you're getting. Now, also, one of the reasons for which MT4 was developed was for giving access to other markets. So for example, stocks and futures trading, something that you can't really do with MT4. With MT4, with MT5, you absolutely have that. It's already built for a, having a connection for the liquidity for this kind of trading. So that is definitely a plus. But if you're, again, if you're not trading those kind of markets, then you don't really need it. That is what, that is what I'm, that is why I'm saying that it's not one solution fits all. It pretty much depends from what your requirements are and it, how much complexity you're taking on yourself by choosing it, what are your requirements, basically. It, as I said previously, MetaQuotes is now putting its full efforts on this platform. So that is technically a plus, right? But it doesn't necessarily mean, as I said, that MT4 is now immediately outdated. In fact, many brokers still have more volume on MT4 than MT5. So this means that still a lot of traders 
have decided that MT, MT5, they don't really need that added complexity because MT4 is already enough for what they're currently doing. So I hope that this a quick overview of the two platforms have has given some clarity to you. And most importantly, it has paved the way for you to then dig a little bit deeper into these key differences to try to understand exactly what is the best solution for yourself. Because in the end, that is with what all of this is about. Now, if you want to learn more, I really suggest that you go and check out the transparentfxtrading.com website, which you find linked in the description. Here, you have the possibility to gain access to the most complete mentorship program ever that I have created. You have the possibility to gain access to all the courses, the training station software with the Telegram signals integration, one-on-one -on -one private mentoring directly with me, the CUT data software that you see me use in all these videos. And if you continue to scroll down the website, pass the testimonials, you will see that you have the possibility to join and gain automatically access with the email and password that you will create during the sign up process. So I really suggest that you go and check it out. The link is in the description and I will see you in it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like. Also, let me know in the comments below any pairs or topics that you would like me to cover in the next videos. And I will see you in my next breakdown.